we're going to be doing a food pairing. It's a Monday. I have not done a food pairing on a Monday since we started season three. Is that right? Yikes. Creative juices, you know. Welcome back to Rewind with Beach Woody because it's the best way to tee up something awesome. Welcome to the unofficial Rewind Sancerre week. Today we're going to be learning how well goat cheese pairs with Sancerre. On Wednesday we will be doing a informational episode about the wine region. And finally we're going to finish off on Friday with a Kirkland brand signature review on their Sancerre. And compare that against a Sancerre, not Kirkland Signature brand, that is also the same price. So check that out Wednesday and Friday. But today we are going to be pairing some goat cheese. Yes, that's right, goat cheese with the Sancerre. And um, Sancerre is Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, generally, it's 100% Sauvignon Blanc, um, even though they, for some reason, specify it on the label and it's supposed to pair well with goat cheese. So we are going to try goat cheese by itself. And then I also have some baguettes to put the goat cheese on and try it with. So without further ado, here's some goat cheese. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, new roll. Don't trust the back of ah. Don't trust the back of the Kirkland Signature Brand bottle. <clears throat> Yikes! Uh, I see what it was going for. The kind of sourness in the goat cheese is supposed to play off of the uh, Sauvignon Blanc, but the problem is this vintage of the or this Sancerre in particular is not overly acidic and has a heavy minerality to it, uh, which the acidity of the goat cheese, and I, I assume the, the fattiness of the goat cheese, cut everything out of the wine except for the, the minerality. The fruit gets lost in the kind of sourness of the goat cheese. It is slightly transformative, but <sighs> slightly in a good way, but also in a bad way. I'm gonna give this a 2.5, uh, that was not, that wasn't overly pleasant, um, but who eats goat cheese by itself, right? Maybe the redeeming part here will be when I smash it on a little baguette. Wow. Not trusting the back of a Costco bottle. I think they just figured, oh yeah, Sauv Blanc goes well with goat cheese. Curious if the other one for Costco, um, the other Sancerre that we're trying with the Kirkland Signature brand, I wonder how that'll fare. But we're not going to do that. We're doing this exact Sancerre, the Cargo and Signature brand one, 2019. This is our pairing. Let's see how it goes. Cheers. Hmm. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Now that um. Oof. Woof. No. Why would you do that? Why would you? Okay, here's the deal. Sancerre is supposed to go well with goat cheese. Uh, the minerality from this specific Sancerre becomes a prominent thing, but without anything else to back it up. The acidity of the cheese is there. It kind of becomes prominent, but it's hard to explain. It's, it just becomes gravel in your mouth, which is cool, it's transformative, but who wants to eat gravel? I don't want to eat gravel. Do you want to eat gravel? So this is highly unorthodox. I'm going to go grab the other bottle of uh, Sancerre and see how that pairs because we can't we can't end on a loss. The, the, the 2.5, three at best for that last pairing. All right, this is the more fruity on the nose with a little bit of peach, not as overly mineral, not as overly minerally. Cheers. It's still not great. Woof, woof, woof. With the minerality gone, it's more tannic. Uh, just, it was like taking a lemon rind and just scraping it against my tongue. 
I guess you gotta have the right goat cheese to go with uh, the right Sancerre. So, I don't know what to gather from this. Uh, just don't try uh, Kirkland Signature 2019 Sancerre with uh, your standard goat cheese. I haven't failed a wine pairing in a while. This, this kind of hurts. Either way, um, let me know what your favorite goat cheese pairing with wine is in the comments below because clearly I need to do this episode again. And remember, you can find me here on YouTube by going to youtube.com slash rewind show. And while you're here, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a share, and hit the little bell icon to get notified when new episodes come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You're gonna wanna have that on because we're gonna keep going with Sancerre Week. You're gonna get blasted with information on Wednesday about the region. And on Friday, you're gonna see which Sancerre, the Kirkland Signature 2019, or another Sancerre of the same price and vintage is the better wine. You can also find me over on Instagram on IGTV by going to at Rewind Show. And you can find me over on Twitter by going to at Bishwitty. This has been Rewind. My name is Bishwitty, and I will catch you next time.